one of the things that I see with new graduates is they they think what they learn in college prepares them to enter the workforce. It's background. It doesn't prepare them for anything. Every job that's out there is going to be slightly different. I'm working for a consulting engineering firm. Someone could be working for another consulting engineering firm and there's completely different requirements. They might be working on different types of projects. Um, you know, the bottom line is that the coursework that you get in school gives you the basics, gives you the tools to use, but you don't know how to use them yet. You learn how to use them on the job. And you'll be learning how to use them until the day you retire. Because the job's always changing, there's always new tools that are coming out, um, and there's, there's so many different things that you can never know it all. So, you know, I guess a piece of advice I would, would give to, uh, you know, new graduates is, you don't know it all, so don't think you know it all. You know, take, take every opportunity you can get to learn from life's experiences, from your coworkers, from your peers, and, and absorb all that information. And, and, you know, you don't necessarily have to do anything just like someone else does, but you pull this information in from all these sources and, you know, mix it up and play with it and, and spread it back out in the way that you want to do it. And, you know, the first time you spread that might not necessarily be the way to go, but, um, you know, it, it's, you have to, you, you rely on your life's experiences to develop that intuition of what's, what's right, what's wrong. Um, when you get a result from a, a computer analysis, is it right or isn't it? You have to, you have to know that. Um, you know, the, the instinctual call of, of, you know, I have a, a, a beam spanning so far, it's got so much load on it, um, yeah, this size beam's going to work. Over time, as, as you do enough of those, you, you get a feel for that. And, you know, but every condition is different. So just because a W16 by 26 beam works in one condition for, the, for one span, you put it on, in the same span but different conditions, it might, not, it might be off by a mile, you know. Um, you have to understand what's different about those two situations. And only by having done projects where you experience that and see how things come out, do you develop that, that knowledge that you can then use to, you know, have, have your gut checks on it looks right or doesn't look right. Um, you know, there's a lot of, I've seen a lot of new engineers come into our firm over the years where, you know, they're in their first year and they, they say something's okay by inspection. And my question to them is, how do you know? What did, what did you inspect to know that this was right? Um, they don't have the experience to do that. You know, it's, you, you need life's experiences to help you develop that ability. And in one year, you don't get that. In 10 years, you, you might be starting. You know, um, it takes a while.